This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to the ninth episode of FFPU. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's falling apart already. Okay, welcome back to the ninth episode of FFPU. My name is Paul, and this is. Uh, we are recording on the 25th of August 2016, and I have a new exciting co host as a guest here. First time, all Austrian edition, and his name is. Florian Reichel. Hello, Flo. Hello, Paul. Hi. Nice to finally get together again after we collaborated on my last podcast. You are it's back. Years ago, isn't yeah, it? yeah. It's it's about a year ago, I think, or is it even longer it's ago? It's even longer. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. We have to do more stuff together, man. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, first of all, just tell us what you do. Like little plug on what what you're projects are so far and what you do in general yeah i'm doing various kind of stuffs uh that i just want to do yeah sure yeah make theater and, and yeah and so you're an actor actor director yes uh, uh, but we got we got so we we really got to know each other when we were um, uh, kids almost yeah almost kids uh, during school time and we both were kind of comedians yeah. you were always more highbrow highbrow than i was but yeah you you more what highbrow that's okay. yeah what's that um i'm i'm lowbrow like lowbrow is more like um the kind of humor that you know it comes out of the toilet yes oh and we have a secret guest <laughs> that already chimed in <laughs> and that's the second paul hi paul Hi Paul. <laughs> Hi Paul. <laughs> Hi Flo. <laughs> All right, let's go and get to the movie that we watched, and that is "Die Fetten Jahre sind vorbei," also known in the English-speaking countries as the Educators. With K. Yeah, with a K. <laughs> I'm sure that's a word game. Yes, I guess so. You remember the the song from the new "You and Me" in lesson four? English is a word game. Oh English Jesus Christ! Game. Yeah, come and play. Yes, yes. English with me. Yeah, that's that that hardcore flashbacks for me <laughs> because oh. I, I I I wasn't I wasn't good in in, in English classes until I went to the Hack oh. to the academy. Yeah, before so. before that I sucked. And finally, you learn to speak English. Yes, and uh, and and yes, yes, which is you that's know great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> also you know the internet helped. So yes, we watched a movie from two thousand and four, uh, <laughs> uh, and let's go and get one one thing right out out of the out of the way, and that's. <laughs> We want to talk about the plot because that's the bread and butter of this movie, I guess. And yeah, so let's let's hear from you what 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 you can you know yeah. give us a quick sure. recap of the plot. What's happening? Well, there are three main characters, maybe a fourth. Um, that's Peter, Jan, and what's her name, Lisa. Jule. 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 Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's light. That says light, my notes. <laughs> yeah, your notes are so well kept, I see. Yes, they are. But I wrote, down all the plot points. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote down all the plot points, actually, I've seen. And basically, they, they are living substandard in, in Berlin, Germany. Uh, yes. First of all, just the two guys living together. And then Jan falls in love with Jule. Yeah. Or at least they pretend while eating ice cream. <laughs> That's one of the. <laughs> I think they were already dating. Yeah, probably. But this yeah. scene was a one shot. They had yeah, yeah. Had no there were chance. no establishment before the, that. Yeah, the ice was already melting, so they yeah. had to take this one. <laughs> <laughs> no money for a second kill. Yeah. yeah. Um, then he brings her to his flat, and they have rough 
sex world. Rough? Ah. Yeah, okay. Loving sex in the missionary position. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, but still. But sex. still. Yeah. When the, in the beginning, very aggressive, uh, Peter returns home. Yeah. And <laughs> I like when he turns up the music. And yeah. Then, then he um, bumps onto the wall and, and he's like, rah, rah, and then s leaves the the room. Mm. <laughs> but, <laughs> which is but I think you, you change the characters. I think ja Jan is the one that goes back aggressive. Yeah, Peter is the. Peter is the tall guy. Really? Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the names don't really matter in that one because Wonderful. they have four characters in total. Basically they're all the same. Yes, yes. Definitely they get four actors. Yes. <laughs> um well then they start recruiting Eula somehow. because uh Peter now the real Peter leaves to Barcelona mm -hmm. and Jan is helping her with to restore which which she which she got evicted from because yeah. she was late on her payments yeah yeah exactly and, and then Jan introduces her to young Peter's little secret which yeah. is to uh, break into people's homes break into people's homes and uh, just flip around the whole furniture and stuff yeah. they have and yeah they, they make it fa feng shui <laughs> <laughs> They, they, but they, not they, the good kind. Yeah, not the good kind of like function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's anti 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 establishment. Sure. Anti feng shui, yeah. And it's like an anti establishment and message because it's always rich people's homes. Yeah. Yeah, that it's they break the, into. The fat years are over. Yes, exactly. That's one of the notes that they leave behind when they break into an apart uh, into an into a house. It's very psychologically, it's very awkward and very yeah. dangerous for them. And yeah. <laughs> that's why they love it. Yeah. Um, yeah, then Yule is introduced to that secret and the mess is starting because they start breaking into the, the home of a guy that Yule owes it around 100,000. Euros, Euros, yeah, which back in 2004 was a lot, it's still a lot of money, but even back then it was even more money. Well, we got richer over the years now, so yeah, 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 uh, jump change yeah. at this point, yes, yes, yeah. I can, I can uh, shake that out of my left pocket. Uh, yeah, well, someone's, yeah, someone's at the door, I don't know who, but I'm gonna quickly, uh, And we're back after a short intermission. With the next secret, secret, overtop secret guest. Yes. Who's going to flush the toilet in a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna. Yeah, it's them. authentic, man. It's it's like yeah. the that's that's what this 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 uh, is podcast is all about. Story writing as in the movie. Yes. Yeah. Well. Come yeah. On. Yeah. We, we're going we're going to get there. We're going to get there. But first, this the first most important thing is plot at this point. So. Continue. Yeah, so after they uh, flip up the furniture of, of the rich guy that Jula owes a bunch of money, yeah, they start making out with each other and fall in love. Yeah. Which is definitely the best moment in the whole movie, at least, <laughs> to do that. Then they run away from the house. In panic. In because panic because the light turns on. And the dogs start barking. Yeah, exactly. And of course, Yula left her mobile phone there. Mm -hmm. So the night after that, they have to go back there again. After Peter came back from Barcelona. But who, he doesn't know that Jan introduced Yula to that secret. And so yeah. he thinks everything's all right. And then when they're back to the, the house of the rich man, this red rich man appears suddenly. Mm -hmm. and he, I think he's getting Eula first, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she, he recognizes her face from, yeah. from the lawsuit and everything. Yeah, and then yeah. Jan 
hits him and uh, knocks him out. Knocks yeah. him out. Yes, exactly. And then in their panic, they call Peter. Yes. And they decide to make him. They kidnap him. Kidnap. They kidnap the, 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 the rich dude and the first place they, 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 well, the only place they go to and where the rest of the movie is basic, basically is happening is at the heart in the Alps. Yes, in, in Tyrol. A so the beautiful movie, whisper. The movie went from breaking and entering to a survival horror trip in the Tyrolean Alps, right? Yes, exactly. Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would say so. <laughs> yeah, but then there's one really nice plot twist when it turns out that the kidnapped man was a terrorist himself almost in his earlier years. Well, an uh, anti establishment. Yes. And uh, that's a funny moment when he kind of makes brotherhood with his own kidnappers and yes. starts uh, feeling connected and, and yeah, same longitude. And They're on the same wavelength, except, yeah. except that there's like 40 years between them. But then... And like around 4 million euros yes a year. yeah <laughs> different in, in, in income yeah yeah exactly yeah. and everything turns out nice but then the rich man throws out his spider web his tricky sticky uh, web of intrigue yeah I'm wow. something else. it's only one move he got only yeah. one move. <laughs> yeah, he knows that. And it's like he's, he's playing like the Game of Thrones here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. He's exactly. got nothing, but he wins. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And he just tells Peter. Correct, yes. <laughs> that Jan and you were are in love. Yes. Then uh, there's a little fight, then they. happy and drive home yes <laughs> exactly well, and in the end they try to sabotage the, the satellite ray yeah exactly ray, yeah yeah the the that well the earthbound ones they're not going into space that would that would have been that a would real be the sequel <laughs> yeah <laughs> where they go into space and just blow up satellites. no more fat years in space yeah <laughs> yeah the educators <laughs> the educators in space, space. Yes, exactly. And um, yeah, that's basically the plot of the movie. It's just a kidnap, ki kidnapping gone wrong, basically, scenario, but mm -hmm. very, with, with none, of the, none of the suspense and, and, and uh, uh, violence that happens in an American movie, for example. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely very calm. Yes, they, they, even though they are yelling at some points, it's still a very calm movie. And now we're going to the next point of the of our thing because we're done with plot now, I guess. It's or really unexpressed. Uh, yeah. The whole movie, but that's something I really like about it. Yeah, and that's cinematography. And uh, yeah, this this movie is definitely a movie of its time. It's. Uh, uh, like shaky cam all the time all, uh, nearly everything is handheld yeah, that is kind of awkward especially yeah. in the bus yes and they do this pan zoom things where they just yeah. move the camera and then zoom into something that's very 2000s like movie directors still do it up to this point but it's around that time that it got really big and but it was was the only way to shoot on such a low budget i guess like they in the exactly in the bus they had this wi wide angle yeah. wide angle lens so that the, apparently the cameraman was next to the windshield while filming those two guys in in, in the van yeah and this, yeah it looks looks sometimes a bit awkward and the intro yeah. <laughs> well the, the budget had to go somewhere yeah exactly <laughs> like the, the intro was so hectic and so over the top that what you expect then from the movie is something totally different from the intro. Yeah, it's a mixture of um, uh, Ocean's Eleven and Fight Club. And, yes. Uh, and, and then it turns out to become a very Austrian yeah, <laughs> experience. Yes. A 
everything's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and <this> life is <laughs> futile. <laughs> uh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No hurries, no worries. Yeah, exactly. So, so cinematography, I guess it's 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 usable. It it sets up all the the the, the, the scenes. It fits it's, the mood. Yeah, it yeah, it, and it fits the yeah, mood of the of the movie. I admire the guys who shot that movie for yeah. doing it, and that's great, and I love that. Okay, <laughs> that's it. That the, that's the highest <laughs> compliment you can pay. <laughs> that they even did it with that. Um, Equipment and, and, and th with that budget and yeah, that they still went on and because apparently they still shot some of the stuff in thirty five millimeters too, which is you know, like the industry standard for for movies I guess. Yeah, there are very uh, high range of different cameras used. Yeah, you can totally see that. Yeah. Like they tried apparently they tried in post production to make it look like that they are basically on the same lens and camera but maybe all the cameras are rental and they only had it for 10 days yeah that, they had to yes change. they yeah. most probably had probably had something for for south and uh, for tyrol for the for the mountain scenes they definitely had a, a different camera because they did way more wide shots and 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 like uh uh, uh yeah wide angle stuff which which does didn't happen in in in, in berlin but it's it's all fine. I, I I like that. The only thing that I really was a little bit upset with yeah. was the light. I think the light engineer must be a Chinese man with firework in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the scene where Peter finds out and gets For really example. angry because he looks like a, from a 1980s slasher movie? Yeah, or, 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 or the, especially <laughs> the scene on the rooftop. Yeah. Remember? Oh, they're over Berlin and the whole city. And there's this awkward red light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there a helicopter landing? <laughs> yeah, it's a helipad right next to it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's usable. It's it, it gets the job done. There is still a story. <laughs> yes, that, that you can actually see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not like it's not like I don't know. Uh, Too dark. Yeah, uh, Cloverfield, where you where you like for eighty percent of the movie it's just shaking and you don't see anything. So that's like a very, 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 very light version of that, I guess. But again, it's still amazing that they did it. Yes, true. Yeah, because again, the budget, like the, the, the catering budgets of, of even of Austrian movies nowadays is bigger than the budget that they had for the whole movie. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's kind of amazing to see. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I think we're done with with cinematography or do you have anything no all right so all right let's go let's go to the and I'm, I'm saying those words weird because I'm doing a post-production thing where I'm okay. make it stretch out the world right. and and make it a different so, pitch ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Yeah. Th oh no, that's 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 too high value for me. <laughs> so maybe in the next podcast. It's more like soundtrack. It's something like this. Yeah, don't just use a Paul stretch in in the end. Okay. It's really called Paul stretch. The the effect. Is it why you use it? <laughs> I think that's how I got the idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, um, hmm, I could do something with it. Yeah, that's an idea to handle the Napoleon uh, syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Just use the effect where your name's on it. <laughs> a very tiny people who are named Paul. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, it's never a sad for No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, respect me, bitch. <laughs> so let's go to the soundtrack. And the soundtrack in itself, in my opinion, really good. Yeah. They, they had some really fine songs that fit the mu mood. They had they had like like the Hallelujah song in it, which yeah, was it really was nice. nice. Yeah, I, I loved it. Um, yeah, in the early two thousands. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, there, there's no like Adele song in there or something. <laughs> but it wouldn't have fit the story. So yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I also like that they only used it in certain scenes. Yeah, they they didn't have any. S s 
soundtrack to speak no of. No atmospheric in music. Just yeah, just real songs. Yeah, and the rest was. And I also like that we watched with subtitles, so we could see when they actually play a song. Yeah, it, like it's, <laughs> it, it said in brackets, music, and we we're like, nice. Thank you for telling us that. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, so, usable soundtrack. But yeah. nothing like where you're like, oh my it's, god, this blows my mind. No, it's not that I was young, but in Chrome. Yeah, because again, the, the first time I, I saw the movie, and the only time before I rewatched it today was when it came out in the cinemas back then. And one of the things that stuck with me was the Hallelujah song because I didn't really know it before then. Like I heard it on the radio maybe once or twice, really? and then I was like, "Oh, nice! Yeah, this is this is awesome. I, I want this in my life." And then I downloaded it all over. I think Limewire or something. <laughs> yeah. Was it still the time of Kazaa? Yes. Yeah. But I had Shereza, which was Kazaa, Limewire, E Donkey in one program. Yeah, you could download all the viruses with it. <laughs> <laughs> At once? Yeah, no, I, I fucked my computer like twice with that program. <laughs> but I, re I remember something about cinematography. Yeah? Okay, they yeah, let's go back. Yeah. They had a montage. Oh, jeez, yeah, they had a montage. <laughs> <laughs> like an like, like old school A-team montage. And, and they used the whole song for it. So yeah. it took like three and a half minutes. Yes, exactly. Well. What, what was the, the, what? the redecorating the, the apartment the yeah apartment. exactly what and we also were talking redecorating about her clothing choose clothing yes because she was I don't know yeah it was weird yeah it was like huh we don't even know each other let's paint the walls and then hug and then almost make out yes yeah because true. that's what's always happening mm -hmm. when yeah. I'm doing stuff like this yeah exactly. always yeah I'm, I'm I'm expecting to get some when when I go redirect re redecorate some, somebody's apartment like all the time <laughs> sure well, usually you get the slice of pizza hmm? yeah yes and not yeah. second base yeah <laughs> that's like a real upgrade <laughs> yeah so soundtrack usable fits the mood they don't intrude into the into the normal movie too much and like you suspense music where there's suspense <laughs> i guess yeah, they, they so just don't do that they figured out the basics <laughs> yeah yeah it's 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 pretty nice actually to have that in a movie once in a while where it, where it doesn't insult you with sounds all the time and there's yeah not naming any movies but yeah yeah i told you <laughs> yeah i know which movie well it's now it's every movie <laughs> but they, they the sound started with a very particular movie that every film film buff or not even buff i guess you just have to watch leonardo i'm DiCaprio pretty sure sharknado 5 is gonna also have this sound probably yeah or four yeah, i didn't watch it I, yet so yeah true yeah but whatever, <laughs> we're getting off topic again. This is not Sharknado for the no, reshaking. Tomorrow, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when we find an Austrian actor in there, I will totally do um, Sharknado. Actually, there's a German actress in the movie. Ooh, that's close enough. <laughs> like if she's half Austrian. But she's like a yeah. set promi, so. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well. Well. Whatever. Close enough. Yes. Exactly. So we are done with soundtrack. We give it a uh, three out of five, maybe or something. That there's no ratings. Three what out of what? Yeah, three schnitzels out of five. Five potato wedges. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So there, there's there's food. there's no real rating system at, uh, in, on this show. So yeah, let's go to. Yes. Moment. Is there an, a certified? Uh, for the exchange rate <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you have to check the Austrian exchange stock for for, for your current rates on schnitzel to potato wedges Wonderful. yeah <laughs> um, yes best moment so we're all we all agree we all agree on one scene yeah and I think Paul will have a lot of work tomorrow <laughs> to figure out that meme for Facebook 
Oh yeah, no, that I'm totally turning that into a GIF and, and yeah. post it. That, that's gonna be posted on the Facebook page of my podcast. Just like that page and be happy. Uh, <laughs> can, can you tell me what it is? I'll write it down. <laughs> what the, the 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 Facebook page? Yeah. It's FFPU. I I got I got. FFPU. Yeah, that's it. Wonderful. Oh, with an umlaut, people who don't know what an ö is. You know, you you never know. You, you never. Yeah, I, I, I really boxed myself into like a very specific group of people by using a German title for an English speaking podcast yeah. about Austrian and German yeah. movies and TV shows. Well, there's no Mandarin in it, so it Best should be fine. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Best regards of my old friend Kim Jong Il, just in case he's listening. <laughs> yeah, hey, Kim Jong, shout out to you. <laughs> Don't oh, eat that cheese. Austria loves you. Yeah, he actually was uh, in school in Switzerland. Really? Yeah. That, that's where his love for cheese comes from and he ate so much cheese now that he has gastric problems. Yeah, he over cheesed. Is there a kind of Bravo magazine for prominent dictators? <laughs> <laughs> If not, then he's definitely yeah. writing something. Yeah, yeah dictator da daily. <laughs> <laughs> I love to read the, the DD. love story would be great. <laughs> <laughs> no, also, I love the naked dictator on page six. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're not having any love problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like our characters here. But yes, that directly feeds back into best moment. Yes. It because is. <laughs> it is. Coffee sipping. Yes. Guys, you need to do more coffee sipping. Yeah, like while this. Fulfilling your sinister plans. <laughs> yeah, there is this fourth character in the movie. It's, he's called Hardenberg. Yeah, which yeah. is a euphemism, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe it's just because hard it. On the berg. Yeah. It, well, yes. Hard, hard on the berg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hard having on hard, the berg. Having hard times on. Because berg. berg means mountain people, so yeah, it. He's hard on a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. And there's this moment after he told Peter about the, the relationship Jan has with Jula. Yes. And then Peter. Um, I wouldn't say snap, but... He's embarrassed. <laughs> very embarrassed, yes. He's shouting, so for an Austrian movie, he's very embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> and well, then there's this nice cut <laughs> where you see Hardenberg just <laughs> standing in the door of the mountain hut they're yeah. uh, staying at. Looking at the awkward scene yeah. and sipping his coffee, <laughs> not even smiling. He's doing nothing. Yeah, no emotions. Yeah, it's amazing. Like that—that that was also my, f I think, the best, we mo most well acted scene. Yes. Like he—he he just nailed that moment. Yeah. 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 I'm the cause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of this destruction yeah. and, and and turmoil. I'm exactly. The, I'm the boss. <laughs> yeah, I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the captain now? That's uh, Sean Connery doing the. Uh, the Red October? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> he's already the captain. But uh, doing the Somalian pirate from uh, that that ship movie where where. Ah, fuck. And actually, there's yeah, a second whatever. greatest moment. After that, oh, okay, yes. And I think when Jules is coming back, very sad after the two guys are fighting, yeah, struggling, yeah. and then you just see Hardenberg go to, to the kitchen and sip and hold another cup of coffee, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then he's saying he's tired, he needs to go to sleep. <laughs> I mean, you drink, I don't know how much coffee, and then yes. say, I need to go to sleep because, yeah, 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 Actually, it's it says like. Had a hard day, destroyed three lives. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very tiring. But, and another great Hardenberg scene was in the phone booth. Oh yeah, yeah I yeah. I was away for that one. But yes, please, please, explain. Well, because he's kidnapped and he needs to talk to his house cleaner and his wife. Yeah, he kind of improvises and lies to well all the people he calls. And there's also then another tourist coming to the phone booth when they actually exit and uh, Jan is with him in the phone booth because at this point in the movie they still don't really trust him and... Uh, well, for obvious reasons they don't trust kind him. Kind of. He's a shifty top manager, so... Yeah. Mm. 
uh, and the tourist is like, yeah, uh, reception's really, really bad with cell phones. And he said, yeah, my son, pointing at Jan, yeah. really misses it. <laughs> ah, 2004, nothing has changed in the last 12 years. <laughs> Dad, I want good reception. And he's like 27 years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my son. <laughs> Actually, I think when we were talking about the budget earlier, yeah. I think that most of the money ran into that scene where there's a whole Austrian restaurant oh, drinking, yeah. drinking. Yes. when Peter is sad and enters and, and is drinking with one of the guys. I'm quite yes. sure this must have been very expensive to shoot, <laughs> to shoot all the Austrians to drink with Peter and to drink Peter with all these Austrians. Yeah, like we are not going in front of a camera and drink with a German. Yeah. <laughs> That's not really yeah, not the in the scene, even though they pretend. Hmm? There's no real love in that scene between the people, even though they yeah, pretend. Yeah, but I think that was also the goal, that he's just a, 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 a stranger in a strange world and does, doesn't belong here, he d belongs on the mountain with, with, with his friends. Well, maybe yeah, maybe that was the goal. Very good reasoning, Paul. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm secretly the director of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> also a plot twist, yes. <laughs> yeah. Actually, there was quite a lot of plot twists, especially in the end. Yes, they, they, they just hit like three plot twists at the end. Like, they released him without doing anything with him, like killing him or something. They're just, they're just like, yeah, just leave. Then he gives Jule uh, a free pass on the debt she has with him. Yes. Like, the, the 100,000 euros just gone. Yeah, uh, but then he's like calling the cops on them. But I think that was just a distraction. I know. I think so too. But yeah, because at the like, end... They okay, he betrayed them and then... Oh wait, the flat's empty. Oh wait, they're at an island. And yeah. oh wait, they use his boat. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so... It's like... Yeah. Ah, he is a good guy at the it's end. It's a very slow-moving movie. Oh, I guess because... Then, because they... I guess because they... Uh, somebody might have... They never showed that... Might have caught on that he was kidnapped and to explain that he he had to explain it somehow he ha still had to blame somebody for the kidnapping and kidnap and that's why they did uh, put the uh, piece of paper in the apartment where it said that some people never change i think that was just to make the people not suspicious of him of of hardenberg i think that is that a logic it's logical a possible, conclusion? It's a possible we should have seen the director's cut with all the deleted scenes. Yeah, making this movie even longer. This is like already two, a already two hours movie. It's already a two hour and six minute minute movie. Who counts yeah. six minutes? Yeah, it's the, at the end like you know, it's like montage intro. Yeah, that's already six minutes. A, a, a soundtrack with all of them being very very sad and disturbed. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> cut that out it's like a 19 minutes movie yeah so yeah okay so i can i can cross out the other one because it was twists yeah. but we already discussed that one well, we <laughs> actors or oh you can yeah please your, your favorite actor go ahead okay wait favorite actor. okay it's not about favorite i like all the all right. four okay. actors in the movie <laughs> Even though they say there were side actors or side characters, it was kind of, yeah, reduced budget on actors. Yes, they couldn't like afford like. These were friends of the people making that movie. Oh, definitely, yeah. So there was no professional acting, and well, they are professional actors. Like Hardenberg yeah, yeah. is definitely a professional yeah, yeah. actor. Hardenberg, how, how, how about the main characters of, of, of Spanish guy in the restaurant? Oh the no, the, yeah, the, that that dude was he Spanish? I don't know. He was talking with an accent. Yes, it was kind I, of, I, I I couldn't place that accent anywhere. It yeah, was like yeah. some generic, not German yeah. immigrant. Not accent. German and also not Asian or black. True, true. <laughs> yeah, but the, something yeah. else. Yes. Also, maybe not Turkish. Yes. Well, yeah. could uh, be like German, know. Turkish. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, I think there were yeah. four real actors in the movie, the four main characters. Yes, and the rest true. Is just yeah, friends. just people that he they, they picked up from Even the street. Even though I, I remember the guy, and he was quite authentic. 
Really? Well, maybe yeah, this maybe they didn't told happen. him and he believed it was for real. Yeah. Like a reality TV show? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're fired! You're fired! <laughs> <laughs> because Yuli gets fired from the yeah. restaurant where she works for posh people doing posh things like, oh no, this liquor is in the wrong liquor glass and, and don't re pour it from that glass because the flavor gets lost. And Paul already pointed out, yeah, spit in it. That adds some flavor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I never worked in, 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 in that kind of industry, so I don't know how it n usually works. Well, I did. That's also a, a, a crossover with Fight Club. Because yeah. he was also working for posh people in a posh restaurant, pissing in a bucket. Yeah. Oh, plot. Oh, sorry. Spoiler for Fight Club, I guess. <laughs> the biggest one in that movie. Well, you should put spoiler alert in any of your podcasts. Oh yeah, that, no, it's uh, look, it's it's a forty-minute podcast. We're not. I'm not gonna do. Forty just minutes, Paul. Yeah, we, okay, we are already. Let's talk about all the yeah. recent movies and all the plot twists <laughs> right now. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Wedding. <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's, that's not too old. old. That's too old. I know. I know. Even I know. if you didn't see the yeah. show, that's not even a plot twist. Yeah. Well, it's a plot twist, but everybody knows about it. Yeah. Swiss Army Man. I'm gonna uh, predict the plot twist, and that uh, the main character isn't real. It's just a dream or something. Yeah. But actually, it okay. was kind of start. The whole movie was kind of starting like Fight Club and ending like Mutter that joke Park. didn't go anywhere. Oh, there sorry. Was, there was a joke. It, that, there should have been a joke in there. Okay. <laughs> then, then remember, please insert joke here. here yeah. <laughs> Punchline here, please. Yes. Yeah, or punch just him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, it, it, it reminded me on, on my own current project, actually. Okay. Yes. The, the setup of the three young people, mm -hmm. um, which is just a lot about idealism and, and being right and being against and being re re in revolution mm -hmm. and actually fighting the system. Yeah, which turns out to be not necessary because we all want the big love <laughs> and this will tear us apart. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. And then. We want to settle down in the end. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Complacency kicks in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I also like your vocabulary. Thank you, man. Really? Thank you. Really? But that's also I'm a wordsmith, motherfucker. A lyrical <laughs> wordsmith. <laughs> a lyrical wordsmith. I'm a lyrical wordsmith. Yes. Okay, Kanye. Go back to you, <laughs> Go back to you Willa. I'm White Kanye. I'm Vanya. Wayne. I'm just Wayne. <laughs> White Wayne. Kanye is just Wayne. With when you rearrange the Y and the and the end. Uh, but uh, I could now make a, a joke in German but when in Oh yeah that's 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 a classic one, yes. Yeah. That was wasn't that the name of our school paper at some point? I wrote for the school paper like really? Did two you? or three articles and I got heavily criticized for one of them. Because I criticized of our, from our school ball the, the, uh, the amount of money they would charge for shitty beer. Okay. And then uh, the school, uh, the, the, the student representative, uh, she, 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 she went up to me after the print was already run and it was released to the... That the was the a club. woman? Yeah, we had... Wow. Okay, Didn't you know? It must have been years after myself. When no, 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 no. School, the, the, there were no women representing <laughs> Oh, whoa. Whoa. well, you were part of the hotel, you know, so that's different. Ooh, In yeah. the hack, it's it's natural that it's gonna be a woman. Mm. Yeah, even though I ma I made it all the way up to class president. Oh, did you? Yeah, because Whoever there were two people. Because there were two people that they were, that, and that the other one was Patrick. No, the other one was uh, some dude that nobody trusted. <laughs> so you were. So he was a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Very good one. <laughs> Topical humor. Ooh. 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 Yes. Um, but <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Always topical. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Uh, and, and she criticized me for, for because she was in charge of the school ball and the whole management. Mm -hmm. And she thought that 
me criticizing that was kind of betrayal on my part Aww. towards her because I should have run it by her the article you first. You her back for an excuse? Huh? No. Nah. Ask her for forgiveness. Nah. Oh. Uh, well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. I destroyed her in badminton like every week, so <laughs> I, I didn't care. <laughs> so it was personal. And for her, <laughs> for her, probably, probably, yeah. So I, I, bet, I bet she's really listening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Looking for she weak, doesn't have anything points. better to do than this. Okay, so well, let's, some people apparently don't. Yeah, let's wrap this up. We uh, went way off track. Uh, let's go to the. Final conclusion. And yeah, so would you guys recommend that movie to somebody else? Would you would you say that somebody should watch this movie? If the someone is between sixteen and twenty four or twenty two. Yeah, that's very ageist of you, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> what is ageist? That's I mean, when you say like an old person can't I don't know, kill 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 ducks in the in the morning because he sleeps in. Because well, of his Have age. you ever met any old people? They usually <laughs> get up at four. I know that. that, you mu- that was oh, get your cliches <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean, you know? Yeah. yeah. That you, 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 you expect people only in certain age groups to react to certain things in a certain I way. I think it's not for a five year old. Yeah, well, a six, Se- year, six month year old, you're not going to say, hey, hey, why don't you can't do calculus? It's it's quite nice because I think it starts out to take itself very serious. Yeah. And I don't know if this decision was made in the cutting room or or not, but it's it turns out. Yeah, this is this is a pretty good good way to start again. Sorry guys for the interruption. We kind of ran out of card space, so <laughs> Flo was was talking at that point uh, with the final conclusion. Please yeah, go I was, on. I was just uh, saying that I. I like that this film doesn't take itself that serious because it starts out something like something very psychopathological and, and, and ooh, very dangerous and in the end it turns out as something it starts with high serious. stakes it starts with high stakes yeah. but it removes those stakes yeah. bit by bit and, and that's something I like even though the decision might have happened in the cutting room but it's still charming yeah and I like that. Yeah, so you would recommend that movie? Yeah, I think it's it's basically for people who don't watch movies often. As well, like yourself. Like myself. <laughs> yeah. Or others who are into movies, who are into making movies especially, they can see that... Even with works. a ti- teeny tiny budget, you can make a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. Thank you. I love so, Paul, final conclusion? Did you, would you recommend that movie? I would also recommend the movie. I wouldn't watch it a second time, but ah, I would okay. definitely recommend the movie. Yeah, right on. So, any any particulars that would like push you over the edge? Okay, the, I want the Hardenberg spin-off. Oh yeah, just <laughs> him, his life. Yeah, and his sinister, sinister plans. Because now, yeah, that would be actually a great jumping-off point because now he is like the. The, the, the revitalized the man yeah because now he actually has has he, he he has awoken from his comfy he got enrolled rich to, life took leadership of this uh, terrorists cell yeah this anti anti-establishment yeah. movement yeah and he also collected enough money to yeah finance yes it. yes exactly he could bankroll the whole thing yeah, yeah that that would be actually pretty sweet. I would, I would okay, fucking remake. The <laughs> we are going to write now. Okay. The, f- the fat years come back again. <laughs> yes. Return of the fat years. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We, we're not going to use the educators. The, that oh, title's okay, out. Yeah. Fuck that title. Yeah, it's so stupid. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Vollstreckungsberechtigten maybe. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Nobody will get that who's only speaking English, but yeah, no but I'm not sure we will get the I was hoping cast. Your vocabulary. Oh, do you think the guy is dead <laughs> after 12 years, or do you or do you mean that Daniel Brühl Daniel is just too expensive now? I just went to prison. It's okay. Really? I don't know. We don't need him in the movie, so we're just gonna say 
Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you yeah, mean in the movie? Prison. I thought uh, he went to prison in real I life. No, 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 no. He's making movies all the time now. Maybe so. we can make that. Yeah, happen. he he's one of the Nazis in uh, Inglorious Bastards. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Never seen. You never seen Inglorious Bastards? No. Oh yeah, you're really not a guy who watches a lot of movies, I guess, <laughs> because that one has a shitload of German and Austrian actors in it. Because of the accent, I know. <laughs> there, there are bunches of people in in British and American casting agencies just scouting for German-speaking people for yeah, all the Nazi movies. Yes, exactly, and they still sometimes cast uh, Americans for Nazi roles and let them speak in German. And it's always hilarious. I always. Think should, it should be a specific subgenre. Yes. Americans pretending to, to be, be German Nazis, Nazis and speaking German. Yes. Very badly. Yeah, ja, that's sehr gut. Yeah, what? they all learn their German with Gina Wild poems. We know that. <laughs> nice pull, Gina Wild. That's that's like that's yeah, like a, a friend of mine uh, has all her DVDs. No, he really <laughs> learned his his German. With Gina Wildporn, <laughs> and he was maybe they should <laughs> he's introduce the, it to school. Maybe that would be a very interesting yeah. way. The new Gina, <laughs> you and me with Gina Wild. <laughs> Gina Wild and me. Yeah, nice. English is a word. <laughs> and German is a porn play. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, he's a, your friend is at the drive-in. <laughs> it's like, um, what do you want? Like. <laughs> Bitte, bitte scheißen Sie mir in den Mund und geben Sie mir einen großen Schwanz. Thank God our English speaking friends didn't understand that. <laughs> that was really awful. Yeah, that was horrible. You that should have said something like, Ja, ja steck mir deine Wurst rein. Oh, yeah, so much better. So yeah. much better. Thank you. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I feel uh, premise. We're not going to translate it. No, no, no. Maybe no, you no. can find no. it. Oh, it works. I'm nice going to subtitle actually. it. It's a nice picture. It works. <laughs> Und ich okay. warte noch auf deine Mayonnaise, die ich mir dann vom Gesicht lecken kann. Ah, oh, so good. Spread your... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nope, not, not, not gonna translate, translate not, not translate Learn it. German if you want to know this. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this is actually yeah. a secret podcast to subtly <laughs> <laughs> introduce English-speaking people to, to German. Yeah. Because it's a fun That's language. how we re revolutionized the, 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 the language learning market. Definitely. Yeah just through the early words and my conclusion is this is this is after 12 years it's still a very watchable movie it has a it had a really big impact on me when i was younger um but still um yeah a good a good a good time even though i think two hours is a bit long they could have shaved it down maybe by 20 minutes or something but otherwise yes it has it's very coherent the actors are good the plot is okay to amazing depending on which part of the plot you're looking at yeah. uh the premise is great because they're breaking in and just re rearranging stuff and like the, the start is, is really interesting too and the ramification of that and uh yeah i would give it definitely the ffpo seal of approval which doesn't exist <laughs> With five schnitzels out of seven. No, yeah, no. It was three schnitzels out of five potato wedges. For for the soundtrack. soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, and in, in yeah, in, in this case, yeah. Certificate is twenty two, <laughs> twenty two uh, motor half stars. Twenty two motor balls out <laughs> of out of. Uh, Why not stop with the food? <laughs> out of. Give uh, it the lipizzano. Out of four lipizzanos, yes. Wonderful. Thank yes. Thank you guys for, for, for co-hosting and being our secret guests, respectively. Uh, thank you for, for being here. Thank you to the listeners. Again, please like our Facebook page. It needs way more likes. Um, thank you uh, to the people who listen through iTunes and my homepage, ffpo.at. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope we're going to see each other, well, hear each other next time. And I hope I have you two back at some point. Yeah, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm, I think we're going to end on that. Bye. Bye. Bye.